Mm. Oh, good. Mm hmm. Mm. What the fuck? I That's love it. really good. I know, dude. I'm not kidding when I say vegan food is like the best thing on planet Earth. I have been lied to my whole life. you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison, and I am back again with my beautiful friend, Kelly. Back by popular demand. Oh my gosh, y'all loved her. She stole my show. <laughs> it was fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> and we hope you're doing so, so well today. Today, you guys, we are in a very special place and I am so oh excited my gosh. about this restaurant. We are at a restaurant here in Austin, Texas called the Blue Cat Cafe. It is an all vegan restaurant. You will see in a moment. With our co cats that just roam around the restaurant freely. And um, this is a really happy place, you guys. It's pretty oh, no, amazing. No, no, no. <laughs> well, and then there's that. We forgot about the toys. Here, look. This cat wants to eat my microphone like big time. <laughs> so we brought some toys to, to throw at the cat every time he comes up here. Maybe not at the cat. <laughs> no, at the cat. No, I'm okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Look, there Whatever. he is right there. He's so cute. So, anyways, there is just a bunch of cats here in this cafe that roam around freely and they're all up for adoption. These are all rescued cats that yeah. the the restaurant keeps here in the restaurant. Well, in some you can tell <laughs> that. Those are done. Yeah. I wasn't going to call you out. I'm going to try to be nicer on this video. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, you can definitely tell some of them have like matted fur and things like Some of them are really, really skinny. Um, and they're all looking for good homes. And some, I mean, I'm probably going to leave with a cat today. I, know. I can't. I'm about to move. I can't. Yeah. Don't you go into China. Don't let you me. You cannot. <laughs> so we are so excited because not only are there cats everywhere, it's all vegan menu. Which obviously I've never done. So, so this will be awesome. We haven't, well, I've been here before, but Callie's never looked at the menu. So we're going to take a look together and we're going to order and, and see what, what an we app decide. For sure, right? Oh, girl. I think so. Okay. <laughs> I already know what I want for that. Well, app, but I'm going to let again, you look. And I'm going to let her decide. All day, so I'm like, um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not either. I'm okay. so excited. Okay. Oh, are you going to do a um, picture of this to put up for them too? Yeah, I'm going to put a screenshot of what the, the menu looks like awesome. so you can see, or I'll, I'll link it down below or something like that. Pita pizza. Okay. Okay. I already know what I want for the appetizer, but... Oh, pepperoni. Per. Per. Oh, cats. That's pepperoni. Right. That's really cute. <laughs> and on vegan menus, like, they, they'll spell cheese with a Z. Okay. I was going to ask, so, I mean, this, all, this is all vegan, so I don't have, we don't have to worry about... So if it says pepperoni, it's not actually pepperoni. Uh -huh. So I don't have to feel right. like an That's asshole. Right. Okay, good. <laughs> what sounds good to you? Okay, I don't know. so well for the okay. Hit for the, the appetizer, plastics. we are gonna get the spicy mac and cheese quesadilla. Again, <laughs> again, I feel like I need to put it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, oh it's gonna god. be so good. So it's um creamy mac and cheese and spicy black beans with dipping sauce like quesadilla it's really good okay. i had it last um, time that's that's, but uh, that's fine with it's me. worth getting again oh so God, that's oh what God. we want to get okay. so we have to write it down we have to write down the orders usually they'll like come around and take the orders but i think they're like redoing this place oh my god your handwriting is so cute i was a cheerleader and we had to make a lot of signs don't judge me Ooh, i saw that face but uh yeah so we had to make signs all the time so i have like that kind of bubbly handwriting. So if um, I ever have a garage sale, I'm gonna hit you up. Yes, I will make your sign. Thank I you. I made a garage sale signs once uh, when I lived years ago when I lived with one of my boyfriends, and it was like a place with all dudes that lived there, and I made signs and I put glitter and stickers all over the garage sale signs. And that glitter is probably still in that house. And they were like, oh god, but a lot of people came. But I want to get everything all at the same time if that's cool. Oh, I don't care including dessert we're getting dessert oh. so okay so keep looking and i'm gonna pick something and then you pick something okay i do really love tamales and okay. that's honestly one of the things i thought about if i were to go vegan that one of the things i would miss so could we try those oh, to totes my goats girl okay. like you, you're gonna choose something and then let's see um so i'm a big sharer so they have wraps they have like a siamese wrap that's cute blue cat wrap um like this one has guacamole field greens fajita chicken cheddar cheese pico de gallo corn and sunflower seeds um they have a mediterranean wrap what else do they have i got the taco salad last time it was really good mm -hmm. Ta taco cat <laughs> cute um that looks 
How do we always end up eating Mexican food? I know. Okay, well, we'll we're, we won't get Mexican food. I can't help it. One. I know. And we live in Central Texas. I mean, and as I've said before, like I feel like I'm going to eat as much Mexican as I can because I need to be sick of it by the time I leave. Yes. Because, ah, yeah. What about this barbecue briscat? <laughs> Cute. Do you want to get that? Um, I'd be okay with that. Okay, let's get that, and we'll ask for onions on the side. Sure. You can't yeah, yeah, yeah. That works for me. So crispy onions on the side. Okay, so this is barbecue brisket. It's so cute. Oh, brisket. <laughs> okay. I thought they had dessert. Oh, they do. I was like, if they do not, then Wait. we will take the show on the road because I we could go somewhere else and go get. I'm okay with that. This. It's whatever you want to do, but I I miss desserts, and I've been kind of trying to be better all week, which means I haven't had ice cream all week. Ooh, have you ever had vegan ice cream? No. Okay, we're, we'll go get vegan ice cream after this. I just want something sweet. At okay, some point. let's that's do that. Like, that's all I care about. I don't care where we are. As long as something like that is happening in my face, okay, then we're good. Okay, so we'll do that. On the back of the menu, it's all of their specialty coffees and teas like that. I thought they had dessert, but I guess not. So, okay, so we are going to go order. What are we going to get for our burpage? Oh. We're going to burp in front of these I people. told her when we walked She's in, I was like, so, yeah, we're filming, and... This lady um, at the front probably, she she hates us. No, like, she doesn't. We've been like, can you turn down the music? Can we film here? And she's just like, oh my I mean, God. we're being a little needy, but we're gonna, they're going to get, I was going to say, they're going to get lots of shout outs and this place is awesome. So come and check it yes, out. Yes, if you're in the Austin um, area, come But yeah, I pre-warned her. I was like, we will be burping. We're going to be some yes. burping bitches. Yes. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. So, I, think, I don't know. Anything's for Oh, Topo Chico. Dude, it's three and a half dollars. Fuck that. We'll just drink water if we don't burp. Like you're gonna get hate mail if you don't burp. No, I, there's videos where I don't burp. You guys get so I'm much gonna, burping from me. I no, think you'll be fine. No, I'm gonna buy. I'll pay for the Topo Chicos. They're three and a half dollars. That's fine. I will go seven dollars for y'all so that we can burp. <laughs> also, why would you charge three and a half dollars for Topo Chico? Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So we're. So we're going to go turn in our order. She's laughing at me because I'm having to repeat this because it keeps stumbling over my words. So we're going to go order, and I am going to show you some footage of the cats around the cafe. So, oh, yeah. BRB. We just Can wanted to everything? show you guys as you come in. It's really cute. I've been here before, she hasn't. But I wanted to show you this little gift shop oh, here, they we'll have. The door for Sorry, if I don't even know if I'm in focus, honestly, but oh, let's right. go in and we'll check it out. out. Okay. So this place is so cute. They have oh my god, there's cat stuff everywhere. They have cat stuff everywhere. <laughs> what? Isn't that cute? Oh my god. Meow. <laughs> oh my god, this is so adorable. Oh my gosh, look, do you do you watch that guy's show? No, what is that? Um, what's his name? Jackson Galloway or something? Jackson Galaxy, that's his name. He has oh this my show God. about how to train cats. It's actually amazing. What? Yeah, it's a really good okay. show. I actually I'm love it. have to get after it. Look how cute all this stuff is. Guys! <gasps> oh my God, they have cat ears. Oh my God. Let's put some on. Oh. She's going to put some cat ears on me. Okay, let's see. Let me get this out of the way. Thank you for bending down because I'm I know. too short. You guys, for you to also, reach. I'm a giant if you didn't You're know. You're not that. a giant. Just... <laughs> oh, I got you some. Oh, perfect. I got you green like me. Oh, I was going to do green cute. and yellow so we could have some Green Bay Packer and Peck on Billy too. So uh -oh. we can do it. Okay. okay. So we can do Green Bay Packers colors because they're the yeah. best. Oh my God, those are <laughs> <laughs> It's so I love cute. It. Oh my it's gosh. Perfect. It's perfect. Shut up. Oh, cute. That is catitude. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. You could get Lambo um an Ninja Turtle ones. Oh my god, look at this you guys. Look. Dude. Look, okay, I'm gonna show this to Kelly. Lambo. Oh my god, be... these are four dollars. <gasps> She's freaking out. 
<laughs> this is happening. I am buying this, and we are going to. No, it's happening. I'm buying this, and we are going to put it on him, and then we will show it in a little bit. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My life is now complete. Are you really going to get it for Lambo? Yes, I am going to get it for Lambo. How much is this? I mean, okay. Oh look, there's a little kitty right here. That kitty is super chill. Hello. Hi. Hi, oh, Munchkin. Here, you want me to go grab it first? Um, yeah. So Callie's gonna go buy some little cat toys for I her can't little help man. It. I mean, I'm gonna show you after we get our ice cream. I'm gonna show you when we get back to her house, her cat in this uniform playing with this little toy. But yes, so I just wanted to show you this cute little gift shop this they is have. Adorable. If you live in Austin, you need to come check this place out. Yes. I can't believe I haven't been here. This Even if awesome. you like come visit Austin, just come check this place yeah. out if you love cats. I mean, yeah. it's pretty freaking awesome. Some vegan food. And oh, okay, before we go, the owner, or she wasn't, I don't know who I she was. I think she was the owner. Oh, the owner, okay. So the manager, owner, lady, super nice. She was telling us. She's really hot. She's really hot. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She's over there shuffling around. I think she heard you. Go get it, girl. She was telling us that um, she rescues most of the cats from the um, shelter in Houston. Austin and Pets Alive gets them from Houston, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And um, it's really sad, but they like put down so many cats um, a many. month. Too many. Like, I, it's really sad what she was telling us. So we won't get into it. Yeah. But rescue a kitty, get a cat. They're the best. Honestly, I love having a cat. And it's, this one's obsessed with her. Cat, I've never so. had a cat before, and I will never go back. Yeah. I am. I'll, I'm switched. Yeah. I'm a cat person now. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind crying out its prayer While we are so ashamed to be alive Break the chains and our freedom's out to say Okay, you guys, so they just dropped okay. off our coffee, so we're gonna drink this. There. Yes, I don't, soy. soy, no, that's yours. And they brought us ice, so we can make ice coffee. I Did want, you ask for ice coffee? No, but I'm that happy nice. that they thought of that, because it's, it's nice Texas touch. and it's hot as those Yes, outside. we got some waters, we got all kinds of liquids. Okay, so. so I've also never had soy milk, because. We've had cashew milk. Yes, I've had the cashew milk. So I'm really excited to see. Mm. Good. I want, I want some sugar. Some sugar, sugar. Mm, not this. It doesn't smell very sweet. Yeah. So maybe I'll go find some sugar. I'll go find some sugar, sugar. Okay. okay. Why is it so difficult to find sugar? They're like unloading boxes. Oh. Never mind, she got sidetracked and she is now trying to commandeer all of their hot sauce. Because she has to put spicy stuff on everything. She has like four hot sauces. I see you. I see you in all those hot sauces. Oh my god. I literally was like, what is taking so long? And so why? Like, she opens up this box. Oh. And she's like, the sugar is in here. Is that her food? Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's happening. Coming. It's happening. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. Just a pilot. Oh my gosh. Oh Thank my you. Gosh. Look at this, you guys. I'm Dude. so happy. Did we order something? Oh yeah, the tamales. Um, you guys There's look. Those are unwanted. All this hot sauce, sriracha, of course. Love sriracha. And then these are Austin local hot sauces. Jalapeno condiment. This is yellow bird sauce. Serrano. If you live in Austin, you've probably seen these. Yeah. Jalapeno condiment. I feel like What's anything. That, I got habanero. Yeah. 
Okay. You're gonna. I don't under. No. My heart's racing. I'm so not, excited. I will not be partaking okay. in any of that. Oh my god, there's chips on here. Far away, you guys. I'm so happy right now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks really good. Dude, and this kind of toast, this is called Texas toast. It's oh. so good. <laughs> I never even thought, because we live here, so to me, I'm just like, no, it's just toast. <laughs> well, it's called it Texas is called toast because it's Yeah, because it's thicker. Yeah, okay. I worked at Sonic. That's where I first found out what Texas toast was. How old were you when you worked at Sonic? I was 16. Oh, my God. I bet you were adorable. Did you skate? I skated today. Oh, oh, my yeah. God. That is so my cute. Show. Yeah. Oh, my God. I ate shit so many times. No, are you serious? Skates. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's see. It's like iced coffee to me, but I'm used to almond milk. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really want it a lot. Can I try it? Yes, I put like 12 pounds of sugar in it. Oh no, try the almond milk. Well, that, I mean, it's good, but I like this one better. Oh, it has Splenda in it, which is fake sweetener. I don't know I don't how care. you feel about that. Okay, I'm gonna move some stuff around. Better. I know, because I know what to do. You make good choices. I, I need to it. just start listening. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait, do we have to wait for the tamales? I mean, I guess we have to. We don't have to, but what I do want to do, you guys, because um, I got this new lens on my camera, and I know it won't focus. I'm going to get some footage of some up-closeness yeah. on my phone for you guys. Say, I can like Callie's going to drop the top yeah. here. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys. So I'm going to get some footage here. Oh, Yum, look at that. This is the wrist cat sandwich. Mm -hmm. And look at these uh, amazing chips right here. Oh my are they good since you tried one yes, before me? Yes, they're amazing. They're really peppery. <laughs> <laughs> and then here is the queso. Uh, the, no, wait. What is this? The mac and cheese quesadillas. quesadillas. I think. Yeah. Check that out. Oh my gato. Yeah, these are going to be so good. Uh, and that's the chipotle aioli, okay. chips and salsa, and pico de gallo. And guacamole. Pico de gato, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> very clever okay oh my god do you want to wait you don't have to i'm let's really eat. hungry let's eat. okay <laughs> let's, let's do like, the quesadillas first yeah okay thank you yes. and then i want some of this sauce this sauce well right here. i'm gonna take the pico off because i can't have here i'll put it right here for you oh it's on top of the guacamole yeah. i was like what are you why are you scooping it out I'll take all that. Of course, Kelly, I'm so sorry you're allergic to onions. I mean, it's, it's like, just my life. It's and well, when I was younger, when I was younger, I couldn't have garlic, and I oh guess God. I grew out of it because when I, um, the older I got, the more I started trying to cook with it, and I was fine. So, okay, and maybe I grew out of that onions thing, but I'll never know because I'm too scared. I don't want to be itchy. Yeah, I understand. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's see. I love it. I know you're gonna love it. Oh my god, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> you guys. Oh god. It's like you take I love mac and cheese so much. I know. It's like you take a carb and you wrap it around other carbs with creamy sauce. It's, it's a life. magical world we it's live life. in. It's life. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm. I'm such a fat kid because I'm literally sitting here thinking I've had one bite. Okay, two. And I'm like we should order another know, <laughs> round dude. of these. I know. <laughs> this isn't going to be so enough. Good. Um, What's happening? Last this? time I was here, we had these to go. And we had, um, I was here with my my aunt. Yeah. And I had one. And she had one because there's four, right? What's the most? Yeah, four? Like or maybe three. we each had one and there was one <gasps> to go. Mm. Isn't that good? This is the Chipotle. That's really good. And we got in the, Whoa. so we took the last one to go. <coughs> Spicy? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Speaking of spice, I need to put some oh hot sauce God. in there. What I am you, interested to what see are we gonna try? this process. But Don't anyways. Say we. I am not trying that. <laughs> I will die. Okay. Well, I wish I could ask you guys what we want to try. As soon as we got in the car, I took wow. the, the last triangle quesadilla out of the box and ate it. And I was so full. I wasn't even hungry, but it was just so good. <laughs> Wait, so you stole it from your aunt? I mean... It was when my mom was in the hospital and I was going to oh. take it to her. <laughs> but I just took it out of the box and ate it on the way home. <laughs> it was so good. I was like, she, well, I'll take her back here later. Yeah. <laughs> at a she'll, later she'll be fine with her hospital food. <laughs> Dude, the hospital food there wasn't half bad. And they had a whole oh, really? big vegetarian menu. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is amazing shit mm. right here. I'm gonna just part from the chocolate. The chips. Okay. I kind of want to try. That's jalapeno. Oh my god. I want to try the serrano. Those chips are really good. I feel like I can muster up a bird. I'm gonna try some guacamole with some hot sauce. I think this is close. Uh, There's a little baby. Little baby one. Baby one. Yeah, you gotta start off slow. You gotta warm up. I don't. Even, how are we gonna handle if this? If I burp, I swear to God, everybody's heads will turn. Here, look at this shitty knife. Can you cut it with that? <laughs> well, we all know how I feel about shitty knives, so. <laughs> I mean. You guys, kinda... she was so triggered when I. <laughs> yeah. was Did you see the comments down below that were yeah. like, <laughs> "Look at her getting all protective about her knives." I'm just like, yeah. My dad said something about it. He was mm -hmm. like, yeah, he goes, I'm pretty proud of those knives. I was like, me too. I know. But, you know. Just. Just cut it right here. I don't know. My mom, my mom always cut things diagonally. Really? Yeah, so Aww. now I always do. I don't know why. That's the way you cut a sandwich. It's like a yeah, proper way. That's how I feel. Okay, I'll take Go over. For it. You guys, I really hope our tamales come soon. Do you think they forgot? I'm gonna go ask. I'll be right back. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I feel bad for burping in front of people. Oh. Okay, they forgot our order, but I just put it in. Okay. But okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we didn't wait. Oh my god. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, I wanna, I wanna do this with you because I feel like you this is to. gonna be like insane. Okay, hold on. Let I need some hot sauce. Okay. okay, habanero hot pepper sauce. I'm just gonna scoop this on the my plate. See now, what the f? This is not meat. It's 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 vegan meat. Try it on its own. No, I want to experience it with you. It's like I don't know about all those vegan. No, 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 no. Oh, you guys. Okay, and I'm gonna ask her after we take our first bite of this. Can you open this? Yeah. Callie, after we did our video last week, Callie was like. I'm gonna go vegetarian for a week. I want to try it out. I said vegan. I said she I did went. Say vegan I went first. balls to the wall and was like, I will go vegan for a whole week. It didn't really work. It out. It didn't. I ate cheese. I ate dairy, but, but I did go um, vegetarian. The only thing that I ate um, was um, I went out to eat with my family friends. I told mm -hmm. you that I was going to brunch with them, and I did get something with salmon. <laughs> You're not like a terrible person. You're still a good person, Kelly. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> well, that means you made the connection. That's um, a good thing. That's but, a good thing. But then well, when I had my bite. oh, <laughs> you're like, yeah, stop talking and eat. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna be messy as shit. I know you got the messy side. You got like, oh, what? I'm trying to put hot sauce on yours. Oh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> okay, barbecue brisket. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, good. Mm hmm. Mm. What the fuck? I That's love it. really good. I know, dude. I'm not kidding when I say vegan food is like the best thing on planet Earth. I have been lied to my whole life. You really have. We were talking I mean, about this earlier, like how you're conditioned to think like that vegans are the freaks. Should I tell that story? I mean, that story kind of makes me feel like a jerk, but it's true, though. I mean, it really did catch me off guard the way I was thinking. Tell them the story. So I'm we so have, messy. Food's coming out of my I mouth. I mean, this is going to be, this is a brand new dress, so great. Um, so, we had a group of people come into work today. My hand is completely messy. Oh, I mean, just let it ride, man. I love this story, by the way. So, so we're sitting there, and we had a, a group of, I do like events and stuff like that, um, where I'm a server. And so, um, anyway, so they had a buffet set up for, um, you know, there was like chicken and salmon and green beans and salad with cheese on it um, and stuff like this. So basically the only thing that these um, two ladies could eat, these women came in and they were also vegan. And uh, so the only thing that they could eat was the green beans. So they asked me for two um, vegan meals or substitutes or whatever, just something that they could have more than green beans. I'm try the jalapeno. And my first reaction, I feel like such an asshole, but I can't, I mean... My first reaction was, are you effing kidding me? Like, can you really not just eat the rest of the stuff that everybody else is eating? And I felt inconvenienced at first instead of 
and then I had to kind of stop and like pause and really think about why I was upset and it was like they're making better choices and they're doing something that is better for you know everything um, animals and you know all that all that peace love and vegan stuff yeah and so they're the ones making good choices and I'm acting like I'm put out because I have to go get them something that is making them better people and it's just the fact that I went straight to like I, not even anger just irritation yeah. is Annoying. so stupid and that's exactly what it is is I've just been conditioned my whole life to think that you know you just eat what everybody else eats and it's like no everyone else should just not be eating animal products and, or so much or so much of it well I don't think at all but you know yeah but not everybody wants to get that. right mm-hmm. but I mean the fact that uh, that they had to ask specifically for vegan options instead of us having it out is yeah pretty ridiculous especially in Austin but that's because... amazing that the awareness is growing mm-hmm. though, you know what I mean yeah like um so so what okay did you eat your whole yeah <laughs> while you were talking I okay was I don't feel like my, my story was that long <laughs> <laughs> no I was literally well you tell me a story now sucking and shoving I'm... it in my face I suck sucking it in my face okay so I have like so many questions for you. So, ask after you're done chewing, ask me a question, and um, I'll mm. tell you. Where are my questions? Some of this stuff I think maybe y'all already know, but whatever. Um, you said you lived in Hawaii at one point. You know, on a side note, I kind of like having you here because you do talk and you do do the show, and I just do just do. Sit. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys are stu- Do I always say stupid shit? No, or it's I just, just... No, I'm just Do I stay around her and I get called out all the nope, time? No, nope. no. But anyways, you talk and I get to just... Eat. eat. So anyways, yes. Okay, growing up in Hawaii. Is that what you want to know about? I just don't know when you live there or why you live there or how I make that happen in my life. Like, oh my God. <laughs> so, okay, well, I was born in Austin and then when my... You know, my parents got... I know. It was insanely good. It was really good. Yeah. So my parents um, were divorced, and um, my mom is How a old nurse. Are you? It's like two or three. <clears throat> Sorry, I blew my burp on you. I'm so rude. I just don't want to blow it that way for people. I feel so insecure about burping in front of people. I don't want to be rude. I'm about to just rip the band-aid off and just mm-hmm. let it go. I'm gonna stand up on this chair and like table burp. So I was living in um, Austin, where I was born, here, and um, my mom is a nurse. So she applied for the traveling nurses program. Good job. And they gave her two options, and it was either after two positions available, you want to go to Alaska or Hawaii. And my mom's like, um, "Are you uh, kidding?" It was just a rhetorical question. Yeah. And so she goes to Hawaii. Yeah. And she, I stayed with my dad. And I was so sad. I miss my mommy. Yeah. How long? They were like newly divorced. So. And then you went to Hawaii with her. So then, yeah. So I went to Hawaii. Oh, I don't think I was three. Maybe four or five. I don't remember. I was really young, not to remember, obviously. So mm-hmm. I moved to Hawaii, and I grew up there, and um, I lived there until I was about sixteen years old. Why did you come back? Mm-hmm. Here's oh my tamales, God. you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're awesome. This lady's like, seriously? She's like, these girls. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So, I grew up in Hawaii. I was, um... Do you surf? Yes, I was on the surf team. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got second place, motherfuckers, in the National Sunset Beach Surf Competition. Like 1997. Like 1997. My picture was on the newspaper. My mom has it somewhere. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. It was fun. So how big were the waves? Huge. I've always, okay, I'm terrified of fish. Oh no, that's a really stupid thing to be scared of, but I can't help it. Like I'm not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of depths. Like not knowing what's underneath me, having things like touch my feet. Like, not a problem. And so. That's why I don't, I feel like I don't know if I could surf because I feel like I'd be too scared that fish would I mean, surfing like, was scary. I mean, I grew up in the ocean. How big for the waves and. Huge. I I'm mean, imagining like Blue Crush right now and you in a bikini. I'm not going to lie, that's not bad. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. After all this food? Yeah, it would be bad. Um, More like a boogie board <laughs> at this point. Okay, so yeah, I was on the surf team. Surfing was scary. I mean, 
but I, like I said, I grew up in the ocean. I was always diving underwater, all kinds of stuff. Always. I remember I have these like vivid memories of diving under the water and holding on to the reef because you know it's all textured. Yeah. Um, holding on and opening my eyes, it was all fuzzy, just seeing all like the, the fish and the sea creatures and stuff like that and turtles swimming by. Oh yeah, all the time. And I then mean, as I grew up, it I was scary for me. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, it wasn't for me because I was used to it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, yeah, so I was on the surf team. I was on the synchronized swimming team, swim team, and surf team. <laughs> I was Jeez. always in the sun. My hair was blonder than hers. Oh my god. Um, but surfing, like, I knocked out, I was body surfing where you just surf with your body on the shore. I was body surfing one time and the, the waves go hard like you don't fuck around with the ocean and respect it like if you want to go into the water you stand at the shore this is what the hawaiians taught me okay you stand at the shore of the water as the waves come in and you just wait until the water touches your toes and you let the ocean tell you when it's ready so i had to do that i'd, st I'd stand there with my my surfboard and i'd be watching the waves because waves come in tides mm -hmm. so you want to go out when the the tides of the waves are low yeah wait there and then it invites you in and then if you're ready to go out when the tide is ready Moana. oh no i haven't seen it no wait have i i don't know maybe can we have a movie night yeah we can watch oh it. my god i love I, don't Moana. Want to, I love disney movies so effing much it is Who's ridiculous it a musical? like other songs in it yes and the girl who sings the main song which is a gorgeous song by itself um she's like 15 when she's singing it and she has got some pipes. I That's mean, awesome. it's amazing. Like, oh my god. Oh so, my god. When you're surfing. I didn't know that was really a thing. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. There's white caps on the waves, right? Yeah. And so when you're like passing through waves, you want to dip your dot your board under mm -hmm. and like shove yourself under the water like to go under. Over. Or if you're surfing and that hits you and you fall off, like you don't want to be under that. I mean I there are times when I would fall off and that would like force me down into the bottom of the it's ocean so scary. and you get tossed around blah, blah, blah. and if you don't have your leash on your surfboard on girl you better you better watch out so oh i mean i have these memories of like getting shoved down into the water mm -hmm. and you're so twisted and turned and you don't know it's which tossing you around so you have to blow bubbles out of your mouth and like watch where they go like they'll like shoot down between my legs and you're like oh i thought that was down i guess i gotta go that way to go back up to get some air before i die <laughs> yeah, it's pretty intense. It's so yeah, you had to be a brave kid. My mom was always having panic attacks. I was about to I say. Was always, I'm sure your mom's terrified. And I'd always go jump off the point, and she hated the point. It's this tall, tall, like, cliff. And nah, you had that to... Fun. Oh, it was so funny. You'd climb up through these lava rocks. Okay. I was like, just mm -hmm. go, man. But anyways, I was body surfing one time, and the, one of the waves hit me in the head. It shoved me down into the sand which was hard and i went like like this and i had braces on the time and i knocked these teeth oh my god wait if you had braces and your teeth it, got knocked, it knocked loose. my braces off on the bottom oh and wow chipped these teeth right here this one's chipped right here yeah oh, I they, never noticed they had to that. file them down if you've ever noticed this is my insecurity okay don't clock me the house but like oh, my teeth kind of curve in because they had to like Oh, so like I've literally never noticed okay. other than your smile's beautiful. So Aww, And you. your teeth are so white. My cousin mentioned that on the video. She's her teeth are so white. Mm -hmm. I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pale and you're tan and well whatever. This is all fake tan. But anyways, that's my story about Hawaii. Well not I have tons of stories. But yeah. So I grew up in Hawaii and then incredible. my mom Okay, we gotta talk about the tamales. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get some footage of it up close for, so you guys can see. I'm so excited. I, I have this camera that I've had forever, and I'm finally using it. I have a question. Ask away, girl. Can I have this, and you have the rest of my sandwich? Okay, you can. I love you. I like <laughs> this. I'm a little. I like jealous. that. It's good, but this is. That I will come back specifically for this. Okay. Vegan or no, this is one of the best quesadillas I've ever had in yeah, my entire you can life. Have it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Look, I have a little kitty on my phone case, too. Okay. All right. Yeah. So these are the tamales. There's... I'm going to get it, girl. That's what they look like. Man. I know. It's so good. More really chips. Good. More chips. These chips are where it's at. All the chips. Look at this. I'm about to put this in my face. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So I want to put these onions. 
beans in here. Anyways, I forgot to eat them. Okay, so what hot sauce have I not tried? Jalapeno. See, the thing is, is these aren't very hot. Again. I want like hot, hot, spicy, like fuck you up. Well, hot. I mean, sriracha isn't that pretty. <gasps> not really. Not really. Let's see, this is I can't. Mm -hmm. Look, and I have all these insides. If you want these too. <laughs> A lot going on. Um, so yeah, my question as far as uh, that goes is like, so I know, okay, vegetarians just don't eat meat and then vegans basically just like respect all animals and don't have any kind of plant products or anything like that. So I understand the food part Animal of it. Animal products. What did I say? Plant products. Y'all don't do plant products. No, just air. She eat air. Uh, um, so any animal products. So mm -hmm. that means like your shampoos are different and your... I mean, mm -hmm. makeup is different in all of that. Mm -hmm. So what, John, how do you figure out what you can use and what you can't use and all that kind of stuff? Well, I remember when I first went completely vegan, it was pretty overwhelming because it's like a whole new world. You have yeah. to figure every Disney, you have to figure everything out from scratch. Pretty yeah. Much. But yeah, but you learn just by research online what mm -hmm. brands are cruelty free and what's vegan and what animal products are like carmine you know what carmine is have you ever heard of lanolin okay well carmine is in <laughs> almost like it's in uh, it's in so much yeah. it's also in um yogurt yo play strawberry flavored yogurt has carmine in it and what is it is it good or bad it's crushed beetles <laughs> I don't I'm I'd, sorry I'd prefer not to have it in my products so what benefit does that give Why it's would like a beetle okay it's a beetle that grows in like South Africa on a specific cactus yes no, you didn't say the thing about the red dye. That's why I was like, why is anybody putting this in their things? Let's just have some beetles. Okay. <laughs> like, ew. Oh my god, that's hot sauce is spicy. I'm so happy about Which that. Which one? So, this one? Jalapeno. I'm gonna smell it. I mean, I'm never, I will die. So my uh, camera cut off, but I was talking about how... It smells hot as fuck. It is. The top of my mouth is on fire. But I was talking about how carmine, I don't know where it cut off, but it's, it's basically beetles, crushed beetles. And what they have to do is boil and crush these beetles, and it takes about 70,000 beetles. Because when they're crushed, they expel this red pigment. And they put it in makeup and red flavored drinks and yogurts and stuff like that. You, should, you, should, you can see I mean, the way she's looking at me. I just don't understand why anybody would. And, it's, and, it, and it can cause anaphylactic shock in some people. Some people are really allergic to that. But um, it's, it's like a natural way to, to, to provide a red color to products. That does not seem natural to boil Jack in the Box beetles. and Starbucks used to. Jack in the Box used to put in their strawberry shake, and um, Starbucks had it in something. If you know, comment down below. My girl, hungry herbivore ASMR. If you're not following her, you need to follow her. Which way is my thing? Some, it's right over here. She knows all about animal products and food, oh. so she's got the hookup. She always knows. I just so you comment, girl. I know you know. That's and then just. We need to try this one. Yeah, I'm in. Um, okay, I have to be honest. I'm not. I don't. I don't know about these. We might need a doctor to with some sauce. I smell good. Okay, let's try. It. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That tastes good. It's okay. Maybe I. I put some sauce in there. I think it's just this. It's so amazing mm -hmm. that everything else is like meh. I could seriously. Yeah, those eat are good. Every day. I knew you'd like those, dude. I I'm, love the barbecue. Sandwich. Do you know how happy I am that I can eat mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. Vegan mac and cheese, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be, it's gonna be all right. It's a thing. So, anyways. Okay, so I, there's websites and things like that that websites, I can go to. Websites: LogicalHarmony.net. Love her. She has tons of information. Okay. Um, but yeah, you just start slow. Don't try to overhaul all of your shit. You know what I mean? Like, you okay. got it. It's just like you, like you said, you you wanted to go vegan for a week. Mm -hmm. How long uh, did that last? No, like it's not day. gonna happen. You got it. It was really hard because you just don't know anything about the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you have to like. It's like if I wanted to go perform heart surgery, I can't go. I'm gonna go do heart surgery. Tomorrow. Yeah. I have to go learn. Yeah. I have to learn about it. You know what I mean? Like learn it and stuff. So, what if you go to a bathroom 
at a random place and you need to wash your hands, do you have to like read it and? No. Okay. I mean, I'm not allergic to it. It's not gonna kill me. But the whole point is, dude, honestly, the point is that you're spending your money on it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So every dollar you spend, you guys, is a voice. You yeah. have the power to make certain decisions about what you want to consume and how you want businesses to well, be. Yeah. Like and I can I can understand why there's you know meat products and they sell. I mean, like I guess I don't want to say the names of any place uh, any people. You know, whatever. People who are providing meat products for people, um, they wouldn't be doing that as much, or they would come up with alternatives if there was a demand for it. But there Just is. like there's a demand now for like alternative gases and you know mm -hmm. things like that. But if you think about it, there is a demand. And think about Gardein. Think about like yeah. all of those products we went to the store and got. So there is a demand. And did you know that only like 3% of the sales from alternative um, meat products and, and cheese and all kinds of stuff, there's only, only about 3% of those sales come from actual vegetarians and vegans. What? It's a thing. Okay, but so like people like me who aren't just choose to do that sometimes or? Yeah, so people hmm. are looking for, for alternatives, things like, like that. Like whatever's in this mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and people are dairy free too, so they need okay. those options. And some people like, you know, go through Lent or whatever mm. and decide not to eat meat and stuff like that. So, you know, there's certainly a demand. I never even thought about that. Like when I've had friends that are like, oh yeah, I'm going to go vegetarian for Lent. But you could just go and buy meatless meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's so so much I did not know. Look at this. Look at all this lettuce. I don't have anything to eat it with. Well, where's your ketchup? <laughs> we are actually almost done. And you remember, you guys, we're going to go get... Oh my God, I'm so excited. I just got re-excited. Re we're going to go get vegan ice cream <laughs> after this, you guys. <laughs> um, so where, well, where where would I go to get vegan dessert? So there's this place. Because I love, I mean, I love sweets so much. Ever since I stopped drinking. I used to not like sweets. And now that I don't drink alcohol, I'm like... <laughs> sugar, sugar, oh, sugar. I so, need it. You can, like, Walmart has amazing selection for um, non-dairy ice cream. Maybe this. Do you want... I don't like that. I don't want that. That's funny. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, you're going to give me one last bite. I would save it and actually give you my last bite because my... I'll am I allowed to say bite. somebody's name if they're a good friend of mine and I know they won't care? Mm-hmm. Okay, so one of my best friends, she, we've been friends since I was 11. Her name is Heather. Hi, and Heather. She's <laughs> awesome. You think she's going to watch? Yeah, she watched the last one. Okay. Yeah, and she so. laughed her face off. So, um, anyway, she says that if you truly love someone, you give them the last bite of food. Oh. <laughs> you take the smallest bites. That would have all been in my face. I took edit. Well, they're not going to know from this, but my mom put me in etiquette classes when I really? was younger. I was in Bells and Bows and I was in Junior Cotillion where they literally show you how to get into a car like like a lady oh, um, no. like which fork and knife to use they'd show you like like um, we would walk with things like across our back like make sure our posture was good I mean oh god yeah. I would fail miserably yeah I was like yeah oh, like no. symphony dubs kind of I've been watching my footage back recently and I don't know if it's a thing maybe you guys can tell me but I've been I chew with my mouth open I'm like nom, 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 like I don't know Did maybe I'm not mention that <laughs> Maybe Did I, I not just, say that? Maybe I, I wasn't ready to hear it. <laughs> but take it. No, you eat it. What's this? Eat it. It's a half a bean. The other half's in my mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> eat it. No, no. This is me showing you love. Oh, That's my last you. bite. Oh, I love it. It probably tastes better than the other ones, huh? It tastes more lovey. Than You're the welcome. Other ones. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> Aww. I do what I can. I feel like we should have a synchronized burp before we sign off. I feel like we didn't get to burp very much. We were trying not to be total jerks. I know, yeah. But. I felt bad. <laughs> that was just embarrassing. That was really bad. That like was really sputters. bad. <laughs>
I'm too. I'm can't. I'm, I'm shy. We'll get. We'll, I can do it alone. We will I cut can, to us in the car, and we'll like go chug a soda or something, and we'll just do like car burps, and then we'll okay, go we'll to the on our way to go get desserts. You guys, okay, so we're, we're car burps and desserts. That's what we'll call. This thing. <laughs> really good that last one was really good <laughs> yes okay good so let's sign off here and let's go get some dessert yes, yes. watch out everybody Woman I just, driver. I was about to say if this is our last video <laughs> then um, I just want my dad and my whole family to know that I love them very much I'm not gonna you're not a bad driver okay but oh, Austin traffic. sorry you guys it's just like if okay I'm getting road rage already look at me We've, I'm not an angry We've person, driven guys. about five feet. <laughs> we haven't and she's, even left the parking lot. <laughs> she's about ready to rip people's heads off. She's like, compassion and love. love for every animal, except for these motherfucking it's, drivers. Yeah, guys. <laughs> God, well, it's also, we live in Austin, and traffic is just hell on earth all the time. The higher the ISO, the more light it brings in, and that's why it looks like we look. Your eyes look like, like blue icicles. Oh my god! Look what I can do. Watch. Wait, let me see if I, I can do it. I think I can do that too. Am I doing it? Yes, you're totally doing it. it okay, hurts hold on. My head. Hold on. Okay, I want to try, but I don't think I do it because I've tried Just to do try that. It. Hold on. I'll tell you. Okay. You do it. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> It does hurt a little. Hold on. Okay. I know. Make sure. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? Because it feels like it's it. You did it. You guys, so we're in the gas station and Kelly's like, can we please show them how much taller I am? Look at this. Well, I'm in front of you, kind of, but let's stand shoulder to shoulder. Oh, so it's... Oh, no, no. We'll do it back to back. Oh, my God. Look. I'm down here. Hi Hello. Guys. Oh, <laughs> That's my I'm head. sorry. I couldn't hear you down there. <laughs> What are you getting? Oh my god, dude, look at this. I used to drink the fuck out oh. of these in high school. Are you kidding me? Dude, Mad Dog 2020? I was, yeah, no, I was all about it. I want to say the first this time I got tooted was on that. Tooted? That's what my mom called it. <laughs> that's tooted really Tooted instead of we, drunk, because ladies don't get drunk, they get tooted. Yeah, that, oh, that's cute. I didn't, <laughs> I'm a tutor for sure. I used to skip school and drink those. Stay in school. Kids don't Stop do drugs. It. Oh yeah, that's good. You guys, we just <laughs> we just got our ice cream and it's so hot out here. I have to turn on my car. That's just bring his followers. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys, we just got our ice cream. It's so hot outside and it it's like melted within about it's three immediately minutes. Immediately melted. You're so <sighs> here. This is so stressful. Here. Bed. Oh yeah. my gosh, you guys, this was so stressful. <laughs> I'm stressing. Okay. It, it. My, my ice God. cream is completely No, look, melted. go to your hands. <laughs> I don't oh want to eat my ice cream. We took it. We Okay, we left the store and immediately, in a bowl. immediately it started melting. So let me clean off my hands and then you can have, because I have a cone. That's a complete mess. I don't know what to do. I mean. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Here, have this. This is my arm workout for okay. the next like two weeks. Here we go. I had this. You just get... have Tupperware. I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my god. So I had hold the... on. I have Tupperware for such an occasion. Yeah, no, well, uh, not for ice cream, but I've had I had this in my car for something else. And we're just gonna put this in here. Oh my goodness. So we went outside mm. and immediately because it's so hot, our ice cream started melting. But. Dude, this is amazing, though. It is really good. So we went to Sweet Sweet Ritual, yes, um, which is footage. all vegan, all vegan ice cream. Um, which again, I mean, I just didn't know that was a thing. How is it? Mom, let me hold the she cone. got a. You need to eat your ice cream. She got a um, birthday cake cone. Mm -hmm. May I assist? We're both trying to help each other. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, so. <sighs> We're finally here, finally eating ice cream, and I'm eating mine with this my cone. It's been a very stressful day off. <laughs> I know, we just had a very stressful moment. Oh my then god. we finally got good lighting, and then this lady moves her car, and we're like, oh my god, because the sun's going down. How dare it's you. really bright. But, I got Dude. peanut butter. And, I just got in a birthday cake cone. Which, mm -hmm. I got peanut butter. Choices. Oh my god, the peanut butter is so good. It really is. Chocolate peanut butter cup, and salted caramel. And I got it in a cone. Sweet, is chocolate but, vegan? 
Chocolate is vegan until you put milk in it. Okay, so as long as it's not milk chocolate. Or mm-hmm. obviously white chocolate, because that's basically Yeah, but you always have to be careful, because... Like, you always have to read your labels, of course, because a lot of dark ch- brands that make dark chocolate, they'll put milk in it. Oh. I went to a chocolate, um, like, making class. Oh, um, cool. Once with this girl that I dated for, like, five seconds. Um, and, uh, anyway, we had a lot of fun. It was really cool. There's a lot that goes into it. Mm-hmm. There was this girl that I used to work with that did chocolate stuff, and she would go over and, um... Where is chocolate made? Costa fucking Rica? Colombia? Everywhere. Um, they get cocoa beans from everywhere all over the world. And it depends on the type of soil, like, adds a lot to their flavor. Um, and that's what gives it a lot of the, like, smoky flavors or earthy flavors or things like that. It kind of depends. And then, you're so seductive with your food. Even your ice cream in Tupperware. <laughs> like, how do you make that look hot? That's ridiculous. I don't know, I don't know either. Thanks. <laughs> it's, you're welcome. It's a, it's a it's a thank you. Um, we just keep eating. That's yeah. all I am. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but anyway, so they make cocoa beans everywhere, I'm and cold. then um, well, we'll just point this towards oh, yeah. me. So I'm always hot. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah. So they make them everywhere, but I know like the cocoa beans in Mexico are. Like, they pay their day laborers, like, 12 cents a day or something oh, absolutely sure. ridiculous. Um, and so, all the chocolate makers, like, chocolatiers mm-hmm. always say, like, buy fine chocolate because they actually pay their workers. Whereas, if you buy, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to say name brands, but if you buy some of the stuff that you could just get, like, at a gas station. No, yeah, say, call then, them out. Then, oh, okay, like, Hershey and all of those types of brands, they pay their workers, like, diddly fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, and they roast their cocoa beans to the point, like, where they roast all the flavor out. And that's what makes it a consistent flavor is because they just roast the balls yeah. out of it. And, I like, don't know. yeah, they, they, I don't, I don't like chocolate like that. There's the, uh, like, one of my friends boycotts, um, Wendy's because, um, <laughs> there's, um, ooh, I should do vegan Wendy's. Yes. Because they pay their farmers, like, some shit wage for cilantro, which I don't know what they use cilantro for, and tomatoes. And she's like, really? I won't eat there because they don't pay proper proper wages for their produce and all this stuff. I mean, dude, this is this is some of the best ice cream I've ever had. This is really weird that this is vegan. I know. Sorry, it's, it's all just, over the place too, you guys. It's just like that um, quesadilla that we had, I mm-hmm. guess, which will be on the last video because mm-hmm. we broke this up into two, but. Um, Anyway, that thing was delicious, too. Oh, my God. I you're told ma- you. I know. You're showing me all these amazing, like, foods that I would eat all the time. It's not like, oh, it's pretty good for mm-hmm. vegan. No, it's fucking good. That's, like I said, this is, yeah. that's why I'm doing this, because I want to show the world. Teach the world. That just because I'm vegan doesn't mean I'm a fucking freak. Okay, maybe I am a little bit of a freak, but, like, I eat the same things that you guys do, or, like, non-vegans, and that it's good, and you mm-hmm. can have all... There's so many you alternatives. You can make better choices without sacrificing yeah, yes. flavor and... Is my autofocus on? What is it? Okay. But, um, I was saying, it's about, um, you know, a lot of people don't know about all these alternatives out no. there. And I think that meat and dairy should be the alternative yeah. or the second choice. We should be eating these foods yeah, all the absolutely. time. Absolutely. Like, what, like, I don't understand, like, people will be like... Oh my god, soy milk? Ew. What about all the hormones? And I'm like, what about the coagulated cow titty juice? She says that at work all the time. Fecal and matter like... and hormones and estrogen. And then they're giving me shit about processed soybeans into tofu. Oh, yeah. <coughs> no. <laughs> I love when you prove a point and back no. it up with a burp. <laughs> Boom! That's her version Boom, of a mic drop, by the way. <laughs> She's like, and. <laughs> <laughs> now I have all this melty ice cream. Maybe I have a spoon in here. I have mine. No. No, 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 no. Ah, ah. If you have a spoon I have a glove. <laughs> Stop it. Here, hold on. And a tampon. Look. <laughs> Come. Are you done? Are I'm you done. sure? Yeah. It takes me a while to eat real food, but desserts go in my face fast. <laughs> Thanks. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, the chocolate peanut butter... It's the way to go. I got that one too. It's really freaking good. Yeah. Okay, so we have to come back to this place. 
have too much to do. I'm moving too soon. I know. I feel like... Is I'm, that a thing that we could do a GoFundMe? I don't know the rules on those, but I feel like, would y'all not want to see a mukbang where she comes to China? And we could do, I mean, I am thinking, by the way, comment below. I am thinking about doing my own channel about um, like traveling and getting ready and stuff like that but for really me to going to channel. teach. So we could do like a collaboration on mine, obviously when you come over there. And then obviously we're going to eat like all the food um, and do mukbangs Dude, over there. Dude, I want there. to come over there. Don't, I mean, we're not going to do a couple on me. I'm in PayPal. Link down below, I mean, whatever. but <laughs> but I'm not gonna like petition. Even for okay, then if we, yeah, if we can't get that together, then me and you will just figure it out. But I really, out. I do want you to come over there because I feel like it'd be so much fun. And there's no way I'm gonna be able to figure out vegan shit without you. So you're you gonna kind of. I mean, I'd rather you just come over and go eat that. Don't eat that. Eat that. Don't eat that. <laughs> that makes it way easier for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, that ice cream is so good.